Yeah, so I was in the car park earlier and um, two attractive women came up to me, offered to flash me if I'd uh, advertised their cleaning product. You know, it's a soap powder or something. I don't know what it was, you know, I didn't take no notice. And of course I refused, the church going demon slayer like me. So, oh God, oh God. Have I bought? Have I done the ad? Uh, no, not yet. Hi guys, um, this is a game called Magic Legends and it's an open beta version of the game at the moment and it's sort of, I suppose, if you compare it a little bit to Diablo in, in its style and stuff. Um, yeah, and it's quite interesting. I saw it on a bigger YouTuber, I can't think of his name or fans. Um, he was reviewing it and he didn't like it because of the loot system, it must be very poor. But to be honest, as a, in the early stage where I'm playing, it seems to be quite enjoyable. I don't know about later on, but at the end of the day, this is a free game. And for a free game, I think it's very good. lens can do I know what you told your guild master and that's all I need to know so a stalker and an eavesdropper and your death if you get in my way that's supposed to be a threat oh, another planeswalker Turned back is as good as stolen breath. So as you saw earlier, there's different classes, again, similar to Diablo uh, and stuff. And this is the actual gameplay. I first tried it with a keyboard and, I, and mouse and I found it really awkward. I find oh, Diablo easy, but not I didn't find this easy at all. So I was delighted to find out it's fully compatible with my Xbox 360 remote. So I went back to the game using that. It worked perfectly and was much easier to use. And so here we are um, I pretty much most of the level I played 
the beginning is, I think it's all like a tutorial level. And after that, the, um, even though it's not a tutorial, it seems to be all offline. But when you get to the very end of this video, you can see people with obviously that are online all around you. So um, again, I don't know how what that all means, but it's quite an enjoyable game. I played. I played it last night for the first time, and quite enjoyable. And it's on the PS4, Xbox, and PC. This is the PC version, and it's. Um, I think it's, you've got to be online to play it, of course, on the PC anyway, same as Diablo. But um, yeah, there we go. So let's just go the other way, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, our deal. You are a planeswalker. You have a spark of sorts inside of you. When that spark ignites, it grants you unique abilities and enables you to travel between worlds. <laughs> You'll get used to planeswalking. For now, why don't you show me what you can do? That was pretty cool. Got any other tricks? You remind me of someone. Oh, more of her plant things? Use your abilities to handle them and I'll get the barrier. Keeping up well, so maybe it's time to teach you some magic. I happen to be something of an expert. Spells come in different forms. Sorceries, for example, are spells that directly aid allies or harm foes. Some spells work in combination with others to produce powerful effects. Now practice on our guests while I tend to the next barrier. As I'm sure you've noticed. So, as you see, again, you get different weapons and um, weapons and like not really weapons, what you call them, like spells. That's it, yeah, stuff like that. I quite like the one where the um, skeletons come up to the ground and attack the enemies and stuff. I like that one. And. As I say, it's my first proper game, so I don't know properly what's going on with it yet. I'm still learning as I'm going along, as I am with most games that I play. But to be honest, I quite enjoy this for a free game. I think it's it's alright, you know. Um, as I said, the other YouTuber that I thought saw this video of this game, but he was thinking about it because of the loot. It's very, very poor loot drop. 
But in the early stage, it doesn't seem to bother me at all. Um, not that I've had any loot that I'm aware of. Um, I think I ranked up one level, that was about it. So that was, uh, that's all I did on it. But um, there we go. Nice work. You'll accumulate mana during fights. Remember to pace your casting or you'll run out. She's quite the summoner, whoever she is. Now, where was I? You can also learn creature spells, which summon forth beings to fight by your side. Magic flows in unpredictable ways. Your available spells will shift each time you cast, so you'll need to think on your feet and use what you've got. Try casting something now and focus on the way your spells shift. Hear that? Something's coming. You may want to summon a creature to welcome them. Joke. Be careful. Seems you're already coming into your own. <laughs> Good. I got what I came here for. So this is where we say goodbye. Remember everything I've taught you and we'll make it through alive. The action definitely um, gets harder as you go through the game. As I say, I'm still very early in the game, so I don't know how it pans out in long term. But it definitely does get harder. You've got to think about what you're doing um, because you're like surrounded by enemies and you, you've got to really like move around a bit and stuff. Diablo is the same, but Diablo, it's um, 
it's, you, you go like quite a few levels before it starts to get hard but this game it's um, once you get to, to the second stage I'm about to get to soon now you, it already starts to pick up from the first stage you can see a noticeable difference in it but then again it's, it's yeah, I think it's quite cool it's free and I say uh, give the developer a chance see where it goes you know see where the game goes it's an open beta so all your progress won't get lost now but apparently up to recently you well, however far you went it got reset but now it's not going to be reset anymore so there we go let me know guys if you've played this before if you like it um, and uh, and so on you know I'm playing it through the epic game launcher but there's various ways of playing it from what I've been led to believe Here I was worried Nickel Bullis had come home. I can't run my experiment without that lens. Oh, crocked. I should have been more careful. Should I follow in her wake? I'm not sure what hurts more right now, my back or my ego. If she overheard the entire conversation, then she... Oh, this could be bad. Look, we're friends now, right? If my hunch is correct, I'm going to need your help. There's no time to explain, but I think she may have taken more than just the etheric lens. If you focus on the scar left by her planeswalk, you'll follow in her wake. Wherever it takes you, you must try to stop her. Please, just trust me on this, and I will see you again soon. Planeswalker, I just deflected one of you, and I will not see the people of Briarthorn Blade suffer further harm. I am Nyssa Ravain. A Planeswalker like you and myself just attacked this village, so I intervened. Who are you, and why are you here? You know Rol? That eases my mind a little, I suppose. You must be after the red-haired woman who summoned all these creatures, then. She ran toward the isle just west of here. Come with me, and I will point out the way. You'll find out this plane, Zendikar, has a life of its own. Here, 
Let me take care of this vine. I suspect the planeswalker who attacked Briarthorn Blade corrupted this hedron. So this is the second sort of area of the game and it's definitely harder already from the first area. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes when you go to the third, fourth area, but does it get hard, a lot harder, I don't know. Um, but I say I quite enjoyed playing it last night, it was late last night and yeah, it's alright. It launches... Uh, it's you. Well, I got it through Epic, but I, I'm not sure if it launches. I think it's got its own launcher um, link to Epic, I presume. So, but yeah, it's, it's all right. Stay and investigate the Hedron further. Continue through the brambles over there, and you should catch up to Procyon quickly. here must be reacting to that woman! Watch my back, Talus! It's not often I find myself giving thanks to an outsider. I am Procyon, a hunter from Briarthorn Glade. I was tracking the outsider who attacked our village when... Well, if Nissa sent you, then we have the same target. So, I suppose we should work together. Tread carefully. Linger in the wrong place and the land may take hold of you. The Grotog Pathfinder Totem. Ah, they never leave those unattended.
So what do you think guys? Like it? Hate it? Yeah, so le please let me know what you think. Um, uh, yes, I would appreciate any feedback. If you wish to see more of this game, please let me know. If you want to join me on this game, please let me know. I don't know how good it is the um, for you know linking up with people and stuff. I don't know how, how good it is for that. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's pretty decent. Do you hear that? We must be getting closer to the goblin camp. is excessive, even for goblins. nearby. I am loath to say it, but we should check on it. got to the goblins too. Look, down there! I've never seen the Hedrons this active before!
Yeah, so um, I do like the skills. Gotta be honest, I I just I like it. I think it's pretty cool. All the enemies coming from the ground and stuff, coming out of coffins and stuff. I like not the enemies, your your team like. And um, yeah, I do like that side of it. And it looks good enough. Looks decent enough. I'm playing it 1080p. There's different um, things you can have it on 720, whatever you know you want it on. There's loads of different ways. And yeah, you can play it with keyboard and mouse if you prefer. I'm the same using an Xbox 360 controller, and it plays really well with that. And yeah, a free game. I'd say just hop on, get it. It's worth it, definitely. I say it's on the PS4 and Xbox as well. I do not know if there's, there's cross compatibility, or cross platform. I'm not sure about that. I should have checked that. I do not know. But um, there we go. a hedron but why beasts are approaching on all sides called here by the energies of the corrupted hedron no doubt are agitating my companion Talus. Go home, girl. I will catch up with you soon. That woman must be behind this. We should look for her trail. See some humanoid footprints. Let's keep going. This rain feels unusually warm. Something is not right. I see more footprints. We're on their trail. Merfolk, are they behind this? Someone is coming. Wait, wait. Focus the hedrons. Let these beasts do what they do best. They're using water elementals to corrupt an entire hedron grid. We must distract them from the hedrons. This bit was a bit uh, crazy here. Um, I didn't actually die up, to, up until the video ends at all. Uh, but I suspect that I will die very soon in the game. <laughs> if I, when I continue it next time. Um... And here we are. I can't. It's hard to say too much about it because it's a good game. It's a great game, but it's um, it is similar to other games. So you can't like you know um, you can't miss that fact. So what does I say for a free game? Yeah, with with a look. Yeah, for sure. Originality. Well, no, not so much. But there we go.
Feel the tainted magic dissipating. You've done it, outsider. We may have lost that witch, but now we know that merfolk are behind the corrupted Hedrons. I will report this to Nyssa and Iliadi in Briarthorn Glade. I recommend you. Procyon tells me you lost track of your fellow outsider. I would pursue her myself, but the ley lines are my priority. Ley lines carry mana through a plane like veins carry blood. The ones that run through Tazim's hedrons have shifted wildly since the attack, and I am trying to figure out why. So here we are coming towards the end of the game. I shall see now in a couple of seconds you can see other characters, the other people who are online in the game. Um, now this is as far as I got then and I turned it off then. So anyway, until next time, bid you bye for now. Stay safe. But I am sure it will help you survive the vastwood.